This one's damaged. This record, it's damaged. Today I've got hopefully a pretty good liquidation palette. So what I actually got here is one very large box that came on one palette. This box probably weighs, honestly, 35, 40 pounds. Uh, it's not totally filled up here because if you press on the top of it, there's room left in it. So for the price point and only being one box that came on this palette, hopefully it's good. But uh, the total manufacturer suggests retail price, that is the full price on Amazon.com for everything in this box is $2,059. That's if everything was brand new. But this is customer returns, so there will be damaged, there will be used, there will be completely trashed, and there could even be some brand new stuff still that people return to Amazon. My price, the liquidation price from the Amazon MSRP, what I paid for this was $291. That's it. That includes taxes, fees, no shipping costs. I buy locally, always buy locally, because shipping costs get outrageous on liquidations. So hopefully, this is gonna be a good one. So for over a $2,000, <laughs> very, very large Amazon mystery box, pretty much. Uh, liquidation mystery box. Oh, of course, this is electronics, because you know it's Saturday, and on Saturday, I like to do electronics on Saturday. Ooh, let's see. Okay, ooh, nice. I see a PS4 game right on top. I'm just gonna give you a small little peek in this box, if I can pick this thing up. Oh, this thing is heavy. So there's the box. Okay, that thing is heavy. That's got some weight in it. I don't see computer paper, so it must be a whole bunch of records, which I like. So first thing on top is gonna pull it out. Ooh, nice, I don't have this game. I might have to keep this. First item out of the box, we got Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. Cool. I don't, okay, it's, somebody just taped it. Is there codes? There might be codes, I don't wanna show the code by accident. There's the disc. Disc is flawless. So this looks like this should be okay. This came out, I think just last year too. So this is actually a really new game. But we'll go ahead, you know, we'll go by uh, kind of like the estimated value, estimated total, estimated selling price on all these items. And I just use pretty much just like amazon.com like app and look up prices on everything. You can just use like your, your camera and it searches by the cover of the item. And if it finds it, it'll pull it up. So first thing, okay, so it sells new for 50 bucks on Amazon right now. $49.99 on Amazon. Used, it sells for $35.99. So cool, so this is about a $35 game right there. But I will probably, honestly, I'll probably try this thing out before I sell it. If it's fun, I'll probably keep it. Probably will. So that's the first item. Let's see, pull out a few more things. We've got Energy Flow, Yoga, Fusion, Discus. Why are they all upside down? That's a little... They're usually not upside down, but it doesn't really matter. Disc. So a lot of these DVDs, you know, you just get a couple, couple bucks a piece for them. Not very much. Then we have, so I'm not sure what this is. A CD of FKA Twigs, Magdalene. I don't know. CDs, you know, a few bucks. Oh, we have a uh, protection shield for a cell phone. Nothing hugely Hugely exciting. Let's see. Oh, <laughs> here is a box set Darius Rucker's albums. Everybody, if you don't know, everybody should know this is actually Hootie from Hootie and the Blowfish. Darius Rucker, he went country. And looks like I have a box set of Darius Rucker. Those are in there extremely tight. It's in there. In there, in there, in there. Okay, cool. I have no clue how much something like this even sells for. I mean, if it's new, you know, you probably say like, you know, eight, 10 bucks a CD, but uh, I've never seen kind of like a Darius Rucker 
CD set. I didn't know they even made something like this. Okay, new sells on Amazon for $48.99 for Darius Rucker. So use is going for $40. So once again, I'll say probably about $35 on that. It's a good item. Then we got Sunvolt. Looks like just a used CD. Once again, a few bucks on that. Donkey Skin. What is... Looks like it might be a foreign film. Donkey Skin. Don't know, but it's just a DVD. A few bucks on that. Hitman. David Foster and Friends. Used DVD. A few bucks on that. Protector. Screen Glass. Okay, here we go with some records it looks like. Oh, here's like a box set of something. More records. Oh, cool. There's there's some good stuff in here. As I look down into the box, there's some good stuff. Okay, let's actually do some records now. Why not? I love my records. Records right now I sell for $16 shipped within the US. That's the ship price on most of them. Obviously, if it's a box set or like a double LP, they can go for more than that. But that's just kind of like the standard price. I used to do $15 shipped, but Postal salt or post office raised their prices, so they raised prices. I gotta raise prices. It's just nature of the business beast, you know. The first one, Michael Bublé, Christmas record. It's actually probably really good. Yeah, sixteen shipped on Michael Blue. How do you say it? Bublé. Sixteen shipped on that. That's a cool album cover right there. Illenium Il Ascend. That kind of sounds like a metal band. Kind of looks like a metal band kind of cover, though. I don't know much about them. Oh, this actually is a double. So, you know, most of these will be 16 ship, but for some reason, you know, I look them up later, and, you know, for some reason, they go for, like, $30 new and, like, 25 used. Obviously, prices, you know, are different. Mariah Carey. This is not factory sealed. It's just poly bag. But we got the Mariah. Oh, hold on. Wife's calling. Hey, so, I'm all done. All right, I'll see you okay. in a little while. Do you need anything while I'm out? If you want to buy me anything, it's fine. Or bring home some, it's fine. If I want to bring you home something, yeah. it's fine? Yeah, it's totally fine. Oh. Okay, all right. I love you. Love you too. All right, bye-bye. Okay, bye. Successful phone call. So here we go. Like I was saying, we have Mariah Carey Christmas album. 16 ship. I actually, I got a bunch of those one time. They sold very quickly too. Oh, The Who. Nice. I actually saw The Who live in concert probably about 15 years ago. And it was a cool show. Actually, myself and, and my dad went and saw The Who. Cool show. Oh, a lady, as, as I call her, a lady a gaga. It was from a movie that I watched. Um... Uh, I can't remember what the movie was, but I can't remember what it was. But the person, one of the actors in the movie, kept referring to her as Lady Gaga. So ever since then, I just, I just thought it was a different way to pronounce her name. I don't know. So whenever I, I see her album or hear, I'm like, oh, that's that's Lady Gaga. So but yeah, that's a cool one. Double LP. That actually might be more like twenty shipped. I bet maybe. Feist Metals. This kind of has a heavy metal vibe to it. Could be wrong though. I don't see, oh, 2011. We got Lana Del Rey. 16 shipped on Lana. That's a cool one. Day Breaks, Nora Jones. It's some special record also. It says... Daybreak Nora Jones Deluxe Edition, limited two disc, 180 gram pressing. Includes a download card. We got two records in there. This is some kind of a special edition, so that's got me a little bit curious. This might be worth just a little bit more money, so I'm gonna look it up. So on Amazon, I'm seeing that Deluxe Edition selling new for 49.89, 49 bucks for this record. 
So, man, this might be more like $30 or $35 shipped since it's like used condition. That might be at least probably 30 bucks for that one, I bet. I'm gonna do this big old box set. I'm not too sure what the box set is yet. Oh, we got Lord. She had that, oh, that's that song Royals. That was really, really popular many, many, several years ago. 2013, very popular song. The Dream at Syndicate, 2017. Another 16 shipped on Dream Syndicate. Jack Johnson, In Between Dreams, 2005. Another 16 shipped. We got Leon Bridges, Coming Home. But that's a cool one. I've actually, I think I've actually listened to this one in the past. Actually pretty cool. 16 shipped on Leon Bridges. Oh, that's a cool. <laughs> I might have to keep this one. We got Janis Joplin, Greatest Hits. Yeah, I'm honestly, I'm probably going to keep this one. Honestly, yeah. More than likely, I'm going to keep Janis Joplin's Greatest Hits. Well, I'll go ahead and you know, add it to the total of you know the worth of everything. So, okay. I, actually, I should say, um, when I say 16 shipped, uh, Mini Mail shipping is like 3 bucks, and the packaging costs. So, actually, I only make like 12 bucks a record. So, it's really, it's actually, it's like 12 bucks plus 4 in shipping when I sell, sell them used. So, actually, I won't count it as like 16 in like the total wherever I put it at. I just count like 12. Because that's actually realistic. Like, yeah. After the shipping costs. But, you know, I mean, I tend to sell for $16 shipped, you know. Who is this? Oh, the Joshua Tree, you too. Oh, this is like a really nice box set. I don't really care for you too, though. The Joshua Tree, you too. Yeah, I'm not a not a U2 fan. I've never really cared much for him. They're cool though. It's got you have a record here. Then you have a record here with like oh this is oh it's a record cd it's a record and cds oh i gotcha this cd was loose you got the youtube joshua tree remixes b-sides and outtakes okay so that is that part of that one and this first one it actually Man, this all fits like really tight. Oh, this is actually, this isn't a record. This is all like uh, promo, like it's like photos. Okay. Is there even records in here? There might not be records even in here. Looked like it at first, but maybe not. And then we got this big old book. Okay, this is actually, this is a CD set. Big old book right here. Okay, so it is not what I thought it was. It looked like a record, but it's not. It's actually a CD set. Let me actually look this thing up. Let's see how much thing's worth. Okay, so Amazon, this is the Joshua Tree 4 CD box set, super deluxe edition. Sells new for $81.99 on Amazon. Used, it sells for $56.73. That's the lowest price of use. So no matter what, I should get about like 50 bucks for this, like 50 bucks plus shipping. So, I mean, probably like the ship, yeah, so it'd be like 50 bucks plus shipping, so I'll just count this thing like, you know, 50 bucks. It's a cool item. Not what I expected at first, it totally threw me for a loop. I thought it was a, it was a record set, but nope, not a record set. It is a really high quality deluxe CD set. So yeah, if you're a U2 fan, I'm sure you would like love that box set, more than likely. Keep going, what we got, what we got? Dennis Weaver, Cocaine, One Man's sedu Seduction. In there. Used, you know. Used, oh, used DVD. We have, this is not fatter sealed, it's just polybagged. If it's fatter sealed, I would not be doing this. Would not open this thing up. Yeah, just, just polybagged. But this is that Prince. It's a CD set. Or it might be like D or DVD or CD. I've had this before a few times. So there's the book, CD, CD, CD. Okay, so it's two CDs and then a DVD. Okay, I sold this before, and I don't remember how much I actually got for, but I actually remember it's a pretty decent item, and it sold rather quickly too. 20, 
four dollars and twenty cents is what this thing costs. So used, maybe like fifteen bucks, maybe as high as twenty, maybe. We got Red Desert DVD used, a few bucks. Chris Cornell used CD, a few bucks on Chris Cornell. Nelly, oh, there's a foreign film DVD, a few bucks on that. And of course, you can't have a pallet with, oh, it's a broken remote. This thing is like trashed. This remote is literally, the whole back of it, this thing is smashed. Wow, that's trash. Let's see, we got ACDC High Voltage. There's a record right there. CD? Actually, like more like that, but like five bucks on ACDC. Their stuff sells well. Use DVD. Ultraman. Look, I have an Ultraman DVD. Or, oh, it's, it's a fancy steel book. Okay, so there is a digital redemption code. I don't want to show that. One disc, two disc, three disc, four discs, plus redemption code right there just looking at me. That's a really nice Ultraman Steelbook. Very nice set. So it sells on Amazon on a sale now for $27.99 for new. Used. Nobody has it used on Amazon, it looks like. So, yeah, it'll probably be, be about 20 bucks, I bet, for Ultraman. Decent item. Your first iPhone cord. There's a lot of stuff in this box. Oh, we've got a counterfeit bootleg copy of Bruce Lee Enter the Dragon. 100% counterfeit cover. It's literally printed off of like computer printer paper. Cheap, cheap, cheap. And then the disc is this is just a DVDR that somebody burnt the the Moving on to, they put those cheap labels onto it. Yeah, this is 100% counterfeit bootleg DVD. And I do not sell counterfeit bootleg stuff. So this, trash. CD, Josh Groban, used. Another ACDC. Dirty Deeds Done Dirt Cheap. That's probably a good five bucks on the ACDC. There's, oh, that's the case is cracked. The case is cracked on the inside. That hurt price a little bit. Oh no. This, oh man, this disc is like, I, it was already cracked all the way through. I gave like a little tiny little, little nudge and it cracked the rest of the way. <laughs> so <laughs> that's trash. Next. Oh, we got black, oh, it's, Bent Blackburn on a Blu-ray. There might be okay. There is the digital code to download it. Don't want to show that. This is Blu-ray and DVD. I actually already own this, so I will be selling this. This is pretty crunch though. So this is more like oof. Sell it locally. Yeah, for like five bucks. Happy hormones all in one workout. Use DVD. A few bucks. The journey home. UCD Hamilton soundtrack. I've actually been selling these things used for about 10 bucks. They've been selling. I, I get this from, from time to time. This thing is in a replacement case, whatever this thing is. Oh, nice. Super Mario Brothers Wii. Cool. New Super Mario Brothers Wii. So that's a good item. That's probably at least like 20 bucks, I bet. Yeah, that's a good item. And then last item, in, or not last item, just the last item on my table right now. Not fair still, it's just, just poly bagged. From the uh, liquidation process, Amazon likes to poly bag stuff at times. We got Robocop Steelbook. The Steelbook is kind of. Kind of smushed a little. Oh, it's broken too. Okay, the steel book has issues. It's got issues. Uh, oh man, it's still sellable, but a lot of people buy these steel books just because they want the steel books because they're collectible and you know. So new with twenty eight bucks. This condition. I mean, it's not bad. I mean, this the case is case damaged. Still at least a good 
10, 12 bucks. This thing has a lot of, a lot of movies in it and stuff. Oh, this thing's called Blue World Johnny Coltrane CD. Outlander, season four. This case is smushed. But, okay, what's good is I can actually get a replacement case for this and uh, just swap it all out. Yeah, it's pretty smushed, but I can fix the situation, just put it into a better case. Because I've got extra cases. Because sometimes whenever a DVD is like... Okay, so there's sometimes you'll get DVDs where the case is empty. Keep those cases for times like this. So it's new for 18 bucks. I bet you used once I put into a better case. 10 bucks on that. This looks like a Wii case. The disc is damaged though. It's peeling up, so it's probably not, it's probably not gonna work. Oh, it's Xbox One to Xbox One at FIFA 19. But the disc, like the bottom part is peeling. Like it's it, it like it got hot and it's bubbling and peeling on the corner there. That this probably honestly won't play correctly. More than likely that thing will will be no good. Which stinks. Another C D. Okay, we got this is a record mailer. What we get? Judda Hip? Never heard of Judda Hip. There you go. So 16 shipped on that. Ooh, PS4 game. Rogue Cars 2 on the PlayStation 4. Never seen this one. This looks good. Looks really good. Came out, I don't see a year on this. Oh, 2017, it's a little bit older then. But used condition on this, that's probably at least like what, 10, 15 bucks a bit in used condition. Let's see. Harry Connick Jr. used. We've got a thing of Epson glossy paper. Yeah, okay, a few bucks. Sam and Cat, the complete series at Nickelodeon. I've never heard of Sam and Cat. But complete. Oh, it looks like it might be missing a disc though. Disc one, disc four, disc three, disc. Yeah. It's missing disc two. So that stinks. It's still sellable. I just have to find somebody that needs replacement discs. It just takes. That's going to take some time to sell. Got some smalls right here. Alto saxophone. I think these are alto saxophone reeds. Oh, those little thing they put onto your phone on, on, on the back of things are pretty much worthless. Oh, watch screen film. If it fits my watch, I might keep it. iPhone case. A box of pins. Oh, we got a stack of records right, right here. A stack of records. Here we just have a random folder. Came out of nowhere. Okay. Pull some of these onesies and twosies out. Ooh, is that a no I just thought it was a PS4 game. Right, just a Blu-ray. Okay, so what's left in there is like a stack of records. Let's do these first. Oh, I actually I, I got two of these in, in the past, and they sold for 10 bucks each. It was like 10 plus shipping. So, yeah, there's one disc, one, two, yep, three. They're all there. That sells for 10 bucks, I know for a fact, because I've sold it for that twice. Oh, it's just, just an iPhone. Ooh, a very, very used iPhone case. Put that back. Another iPhone case for the iPhone 10 and 10s. Maybe we got like another, this is, oh, this thing's, is this factory? Nope, not very sealed. Oh, we got a watch band for a Apple Watch. It's a cool looking band. It's kind of like a leather band. I'm not sure. Oh, it's for a 38 inch. So it actually won't fit mine or my wife. Mine's a 44, but I think my wife's like a 40 or 42. Oh, cool. A Chromecast Ultra. I've never gotten one of these before in a palette, a Chromecast. I've gotten Roku's. I got like an Apple, whatever it's called, like one time. I've never received a Chromecast. Is this thing still factory sealed? 
like extremely tight packaging. There we go. There's not even a fingerprint on the Chromecast. Try not to <laughs> touch it too much. There's the bottom. Oh, there's the remote. Not the remote, but the uh, AC adapter for, for the power source. Whew. That still has like the film on it. There's the remote for it. I think it's missing the remote. I don't see a remote. Unless I'm going crazy. This should have a remote for it, I think. I think. Or maybe the, re the remote separate, maybe? I'm not sure. But you'd think it would come with a remote, though. Hmm. So I have to look this thing up, research this thing a little bit more, and I'll, I'll update price, or, you know, like the running total. Oh, your phone, it says, in disregard, your phone is the remote. Just tap the cast button in popular mobile apps to start watching on. Okay, your phone is the remote control for this. So, there is no remote. So, let me just backtrack on all that. There is no remote for this item. I have no clue much thing sells for. I've never received a Chromecast before in a pallet. This is the first time. First time. Ooh, sells new for $69. That's a good item. That's that's really good item. And let's see, sells used on Amazon for nobody selling it used. So if it's new for 70 used, that's probably good. Probably even like 50 bucks I bet. Good item. Good item right there. I like that. Don't need it either, so I will be selling that. Oh, here's a nice. Here's a Radiohead OK computer. A very large, looks like a box set of Radiohead. Possibly like three records in it, maybe four. Cool though. Yeah, it's probably gonna be like more like 20 or 25 shipped for the or the uh, Radiohead. So yeah, all we got left is just a small stack of records. Ooh, <laughs> this one. This one's damaged. This record, it's damaged. Oh, <laughs> yeah, it's, you can feel it. The record's like, in, it's in two pieces. So that is trash. It's that record. It's actually still factory sealed too, but it's, it's broken in half. Let's see, we've got X. Oh, Ed Sheeran. Cool. Probably good 12 bucks on that one. You know, or 16 ship. You, you know what I'm saying. Red Rose at Speedway. Double album. Is that? It says Paul McCartney and the Wings. Oh, okay. That's actually Paul McCartney and the Wings. Cool. That might be more like 20 ship for uh, Paul McCartney. Let's see. The very best of Hall and Oates. Any Hall and Oates fans out there? Never cared much for them. And then we got two records left. Ooh, cool. The Smashing Pumpkins. PC's Iscariot, 2012. That's probably going to be more like $20 shipped, I bet, for, for that one. Last item in this entire box. Last thing. Oh, <laughs> another Mariah Carey Christmas record. Nothing like uh, finishing on a Mariah Carey, right? So this thing had two Mariah Careys in it. But yeah, that was a fun, that was a fun like mystery box that came on a pallet. That was fun. A lot of good stuff. That was pretty much all music and movies. Pretty much. And actually it was music, movies, and PS4 games. So yeah, that was actually, that was fun. That was a good, good box. I spent 291 bucks on it. So yeah, I'll get my money back. You know, maybe $600 back, maybe five, six hundred dollars back. It said the MSRP was over two grand originally. I don't think it was that. Okay, actually, all the records, if they were brand new, a bunch of those would go for like 20, 25 bucks a piece new. There's probably 30 records in this pallet. So if you actually went full price on the records, the full MSRP on the records, the records themselves might have been over $1,000 in, in this pallet. That's actually probably was. Probably the records, but over a thousand bucks. 
It goes by the MSRP of the original MSRP before any kind of sales or markdowns or anything. And all the PS4 games, you know, those would have been like 50 bucks a piece, you know, full MSRP. Then all the music and the movies, because all those CDs, you know, they're going by full MSRP. So if it sells $15 new, 12 new, that's what it's at, at you know, what it what it counts it as. You know, I, I sell for a couple bucks, you know, so actually the it was it probably actually was close to two thousand dollars. If you take everything brand new prices, honestly, it probably was. You know, a lot of these things brand new, like this DV, this Blu-ray set was like 30 bucks new, you know, uses like 10, you know, so it adds up. So honestly, it probably was close to $2,000. But yeah, anyway, this, this will be profitable. And I love Electronics Pals the most because I like getting the, get the, the, the video games and the, the records and the gadgets, you know, that's fun. That's what people like, right? I like going through these, these kinds of boxes myself. So Hopefully you enjoyed this. I'll see you next time with another liquidation palette coming up next week. I'm out.